Welcome to our video reflection for today, Sunday, August the 8th, 2021. We are in the 11th Sunday after Pentecost. We continue our prayer for all those who are sick, who are in need, and those who are mourning their beloved ones. We pray for the people who are suffering natural disasters around the world, and especially for people victims of the wildfire in Greece, in Turkey, U.S. Pacific, as well B.C. in Canada. And today also we congratulate for those who are celebrating birthday this week, Marcus Farugia, Maurit Payne and Melanie Milburn. God bless you in this new year of life. The Gospel is taken from St. John chapter 6, 40, verses 41 to 51 which is a continuation on the topic, the bread of life, as we share last Sunday. And today we will work in three topics, in three topics together. The first one is complain, the second is access, and the third is eternity. Let us start with complain, which is a very common human behavior, human feature. For example, the people of Israel when they left Egypt, they complained against God for food, and God provided them with the manna. So 2,000 years later, also people complained to God for liberation from the Roman Empire, and God sent Jesus as a liberator, as a messiah, and Jesus is the bread of life. Complaints, objection, criticism, lead usually to scandals. People in the time of Jesus were not able to distinguish the origin of Jesus because they were limited and trapped in the concept of human language about father and mother when they say Joseph and Mary. But even today, when many people, the majority I will say, they say God the Father, in fact, God cannot be limited to an archetype of what we understand by father or even mother. God the Creator can be both, and of course, more than that. Then Jewish cannot, because of that, cannot understand the divinity and the humanity of Jesus. This is why they cannot accept when Jesus say, I am the bread of life that comes down from heaven. That was a big scandal. For the Jewish, the flesh was considered a limitation because of illness, pain, frailty, and of course death. So God cannot be incarnated in body because of this understanding. The second word is access. This is a key word that we love because it usually means a way which allows us to experience and to reach a goal. Jesus in the Gospel say, I am the way. That is a big statement about redemption and salvation. Jesus' mission was in benefit for us as part of a divine plan, a divine promise, and which is confirmed in the prophecies. Jesus is the way. Jesus is a bridge, and Jesus is the entrance. So, Jesus is the bread of life, and Jesus feeds our daily lives. Jesus is our sustainer during our earthly pilgrimage. So now the third aspect, it is about our next step, eternity. Eternity is when we are looking for what is happening in this transition from this earthly life. Jesus promised us redemption and salvation through the only and sufficient sacrifice. And this is an act of love for everyone, 
and this is why we are the people of thanksgiving. Remember, in Greek, eukaristos means thanksgiving. This is why Eucharist is part of our living faith. Eucharist is not ritualism. Eucharist is no hierarchy. Eucharist is to feel. Eucharist is to touch, to taste, to share, to love, to live. That means communion, communion as the body of Christ and lead us to communication between God the Creator and we as His creation and lead us to be communicants in this intimate relationship through the sacramental life. Take and eat and you never will be hungry. What is a biological food finish in a spiritual food? So, eternity lead us or implied resurrection and resurrection to eternal life with our Creator. This is a promise from the beginning and Jesus confirmed that even for an express salvation when his, the criminal at the crucifixion recognized Jesus and Jesus replied today you will be with me in the paradise remember as we say last Sunday we are the people who share the bread we are companions because the word companions is coming from companies with bread we are the people who share the bread at the altar we are the people who share the bread at our tables because we share the bread of life and that means we share the gospel and the message of the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please share this reflection with your closest or your friends. We wish you a blessed week and see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.